Okay, hey guys, this is the um, completed um, wig that I made, the kinky comber wefted hair. And um, yeah, it's, it's really nice, I like it. It's huge. Um, this is, as you guys saw, this is um, a little less than two packs. Um, really, it's just a little less than two packs. Um, I only have a little bit of hair left from it. Um, which I guess, you know, if I ever want to go in and fill this in, which I doubt it because it's so huge. But, um, yeah, I'm going to style it. I don't know exactly how yet, but I'll show you guys exactly what I did um, with it. But this is it, guys. Um, I don't have to use, because of the um, cap that I use, the elastic cap, I don't, it's pretty secure. I mean, it's not going anywhere. I don't, only, the only thing I would need to do is uh, I can put um, bobby pins in just to hold it in place. And I'm not wearing a wig cap with it. So, um, you know, it's staying pretty put. I do like the cap I use, but I will say that I think that that cap works better with something like this as opposed to using it on like straight or a wavy wig. Um, so it works really well for something like this because there's just no way you'll ever be able to see anything here. So, I mean, it works really well if I wanted to pull some of my hair out and have some leave out I could but I'm not going to because I like I said I really want to fully protect my hair but this is it guys so yeah I'm gonna style it and then show you guys the results of that all right bye Hey guys, it's Nat. So this is the um, finger comber unit. I decided to go ahead and put it in some two strand twists. And in order to achieve that, all I did was I used um, this uh, refreshing leave-in moisturizer by Kinks. And I used a very little amount, um, just like in a little spray bottle. I put a little in the spray bottle and it's bunch of water um, the ratio is definitely like more water than this um, just because I didn't know what effect it would have on the hair um, so yeah just not even a capful not even a capful of this I put in there um, and then filled it with water and then I went section by section sprayed the hair and you know stretched it out like finger combed it finger comber <laughs> finger combed it and then put it in some uh, chunky two strand twist that you guys see here um, I did not um, put a cap on with this a wig cap like I would normally do because it's so close to the hair it kind of makes sense to kind of have you know your hair showing a little bit so you can see my edges right here and all I did to secure it because I didn't I decided not to put combs in it um, because of the type of cap um, that all I, I did was use some um, bobby pins so they're just like strategically placed all throughout and now I'm gonna take this down and hopefully this is not a fail I don't know what this looks like so we're gonna find out together so here we go Okay, so, <laughs> wow, wow, I think it's safe to say that I freaking love this hair, oh my gosh, wow,
Oh my gosh, guys, this is, this hair is gorgeous. I love it, guys. What do you guys think? Oh my gosh, I love this. Um, yeah, it's pretty safe to say that I think this is my new favorite hair because it looks so natural and so big. Wow, guys. Okay, so final. Uh, well, I guess I can't make this a final review. I want to make it a final review, but my initial review is that this hair is amazing. Um, it's so soft and it feels like natural hair. My goodness. I hope this camera is capturing um, really the, the effect of, I mean, it's, it's gorgeous. Um, I'm going to take photos so you guys can see, but I am loving this hair. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Um, I think it's so cute. It's so pretty. And, um, I can't wait to try other things out with this. This is just a twist that I can't wait to see what a Bantu knot looks like. You know, um, I mean, this is awesome, guys. I'm really, like, impressed with this hair. I'm so impressed with this hair. You can't even begin to understand how much I love this hair right now. So, I am a happy camper. Um, I need to go to work. <laughs> and what's so great about this, too, is it's a rainy day. Like, it's a rainy day here in New York. Um, it's morning time. I'm just about ready to go to work. And... This is like the best thing I could ever put on for a rainy day because um, it's going to keep curly. It's going to look great. It's not, you know, with the straight hair, you kind of have to worry about it. To me, I worry about it in the rain. Um, but this is just amazing. So, yeah, guys, tell me what you guys think because I really do like this hair. Um, I'll definitely do some styling tutorials on it because in actuality it's just like if you were doing natural hair it's just not really mine um but I love it I love it so much and I love the fullness of it and um this is what I'm always trying to achieve with my hair and I have thin hair so this is like a dream come true for me um yeah so tell me what you guys think I'm loving it tell me what you guys think I really want to know and again I'll put all the information for finger comber down in the description box and um, I think that's it so if you guys want to see how I did the twist out I mean it's pretty standard you can either check out my twist out video my um, best ever twist out video tips and tricks um, and I'll put that in the description box um, yeah or I think that's it guys I think that's the only twist out video that I have so I'll put that down in the box but if you guys want to see me do a twist out like how I prepared the hair for a twist out with this unit um, let me know and let me know what else you guys want to see with this hair but um, like I said um, I have the other wig to make and so I'll make sure to um, include that because that process is a little different than this process in making the wig so I'll show you guys how I do that but other than that guys that's it so I hope you guys um, like the hair and I will see you guys later bye